Data points are reoccurring bits of information on your website. On a blog, data points could be the author's name, the publication date, or tags on the post. If you have an online shop, data points would include price, brand, SKUs, and so on. Data points are useful because you can display them directly in your search results or turn them into filters or sorting options. They can also improve search performance because results with data points get prioritized when search terms match the extracted value. In the Site Search 360 control panel, you can navigate to Data Structuring and Data Points to add new data points. Start by clicking Add New Data Point. First, give your data point a title. Next, check Unique Extract Only the First Value if you only expect one value for this data point. For example, you will probably only have one publication date on a single post or one brand for a single product. Check Partial Matching if you want the data point to be matched even when someone searches for just part of the value. For example, if you have a data point for phone numbers and you have lots of phone numbers on your website, checking this box means all phone numbers beginning with 1-800 would be matched when searching for 1-800, even if the full phone numbers are of course longer. After this, it is time to decide which method will work best to point the crawler to the piece of information on your site. This could be an XPath, which you can learn more about in our XPath tutorial video, URL pattern, linked data, PDF metadata, content regex, or API-based. For the blog we looked at in the XPath tutorial video, the data points we were interested in were author, time to read, and tags. These data points can easily be extracted with XPath. Click Add New Data Point, name the data point Author, check Unique since we expect just one name, and now I need the XPath that points to the author's name. I will use this XPath with Contains. Again, you can refer to our documentation on working with XPaths if you don't already know how to use them. Don't forget a test URL. I want to clean this up a bit and go to the Advanced Extraction Settings, Add Replacement, and replace by with nothing since I want to remove it. I want to display the author in my search results, so I'll check Make It Visible Within Result Groups, and I will select the Blog Result Group. We could repeat this exact process to get time to read, but let's skip to the tags. Add new data point, tags. This time we don't want to check unique because we'd lose some of the tags. And we will check Create a new filter since we want to be able to filter by tags. If we navigate now to Filters and scroll down to Content Filters, we'll see our new filter using this data point. If we go back to this blog, we can see there's no publication date visible on the page. If I look at the linked data, however, I can find it there. So let's go ahead and add a data point for that. We'll select data type date, name it publication date, select a date format,
and now we'll choose Linked Data instead of XPath. The first field asks for the at type property, and here it is article. And the property we want to extract is the date published. I will also create a sorting option for publication date. Finally, there isn't a useful data point found in the URL for this blog, but you might use URL pattern when defining a data point when you have product IDs in the URL, for example. Then you can simply use regex to match this number and extract it as a data point. Or, in the case of this section of the website where you find customer success stories, we can use the URL pattern to create a brand data point, which could be a useful filter option. First, I'll change our test URL. Now I will name this data point brand and select URL pattern. We want to match whatever comes after slash customers slash. Again, I'll go to the advanced extraction settings now to capitalize the first letter of the brand. Check create a new filter and add. Now we have data points for author, tags, publication date, and brand. After re-indexing our site, we'll have improved search snippets, filters, and sorting options.